Hi guys, it's Dave at Humble Trekker Channel. How you all doing out there? A little knife review today. Two knives, Victorian Ox German Army pocket knife. And the old style Victorian Ox German Army pocket knife. Stick around, I'll show you what they're made of. Army pocket knives is a pretty interesting little subject. In front of me here, I've got the British style pocket knife, a Dutch pocket knife, an Italian pocket knife and two German pocket knives. I'm going to be making a couple of videos showing these off to you. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the German ones so I'll take out, let's get these ones three out of the way and we'll get down to business on the German knives. This is the modern version of the German army pocket knife and this is the older style version of the German army pocket knife. I'm going to be reviewing both of them but we'll start off with the modern one so I'll take this one out of the picture. We'll go to the tool set. The main tool is a large ish blade. So you see it's about two and a half inches. The first three quarters of an inch, approximately inch, is a plain blade and then it goes into a serrated blade. Of course, this is Victorian Ox quality. It comes extremely sharp. It's got a liner lock. If you push this way to open it, it's a very stiff. No fuss, lock up. The next largest tool is the saw, which comes out here. A vicious set of teeth there. Double set of teeth, very efficient for the size. Then we have the can opener, the little screwdriver. On the other end, screwdriver, bottle opener, wire stripper, and they've also made this one lockable. Not sure why they think it's so important to have a lockable screwdriver, but they've done that. Push that back in, and on the reverse side, an awl, which is actually uh, sharp on the flat. And a Phillips screwdriver. So that's a tool set. Let's have a look at the older knife. This is a copy, it's a Chinese copy of a Victorian Ox army model knife. So the quality is not as good as Victorian Ox, but it's much, much cheaper. And I just picked it up uh, for a fun little thing to have. We'll go to the main blade on this one to start off with. This one isn't lockable, it's more of a traditional looking Victorian Ox type. Swiss Army knife blade. It came reasonably sharp from the Chinese factory, but I've stropped it and got it in good shape. It comes with also with a saw and cap opener, screwdriver there, and metal file there, or whatever you want to file. And underneath this protective little sheath is a saw, and actually the Chinese manufacturers have done a pretty good, you can see I've been using it, they've done a pretty good job of putting the saw on this again quite efficient not as large as the modern one overall it's a much overall as you see the older version is a smaller knife so all the tools are smaller on it and that's that side on the back side corkscrew very important for drinking your bottle of wine in the woods and the awl slightly different shape to the modern version So there you have it guys, two styles of German army pocket knives. Of course I highly recommend the, the modern Victorinox one, the blade are very sharp, serrations, usable, useful serrations in this case, not too aggressive, just gives you that little bit of extra edge, you don't have to sharpen it up if you're out in the field for a long time, plain edge, very sharp, shaving sharp, very practical, where is it now? Very practical, aggressive saw. Do cutting small notches and doweling in the woods, making trap parts if you want to do that. Uh, of course, it's got the cool little German army symbol on it. Very nice little knife. Uh, very good value for money. 
It's not cheap, but you get the value in there. The Chinese copy of the older style Victorian Knox German Army knife. It costs no money, it costs about the same as a cup of coffee and a, a donut, so that's why I picked it up. You can still get the original ones on the second hand market, and if I ever see one for a decent price, I'll definitely pick that up. But as I saw the copy in my local shop, I just picked that up. A little bit of fun. Gives you an idea of what the original one's like. But of course, it doesn't have a Victorian X quality. So that's two European Army pocket knives or <coughs> from the same country. I've also got a few more that I'm going to be showing you in future videos. We've got the British one. Typical, crazy, funky British design. A lot of weird things on it. I've got an Italian one. Perfect for cutting pasta and I've got a funky little Dutch one. So the Dutch one, the British one, and the Italian one. The Italian one, that's an original surplus. The British one is a modern British made reproduction of a type of British army knife. And the Dutch one is a cheap Chinese copy from the same manufacturer as this. But whereas I definitely rate this as being a perfectly acceptable knife, this one is a piece of crap. But anyway, I'll be making a video in the future showing off these other army knives so if you want to see that make sure you click on that subscribe button and then you'll be notified when it pops up on my uh, youtube channel take care guys